Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with the second part of the Road to Top 10 in Sun and Moon UU. Today I'm going to be using this build that Blunder made, or I don't know if he necessarily made it, but he passed it to me. I actually recently used it in a tournament for um, the UU Open. But, very offensive team, I liked it. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the UU Road to Top 10, feel free to show your support by leaving a like, comment, all that down below but of course i want to make sure you guys are enjoying it first so don't don't leave it unless you're enjoying it but we got choice specs premier this model is actually busted in my opinion no switchings uh we have choice scarf crocodile which is good because there's another busted model in the tier zerk tree uh we have sd fighting mz cobalion cobra berry combine latias toxic spice tender cruel and then entei choice band so Let's go ahead and look for a battle. Hopefully we can get some uh, solid games and just continue to climb. I actually also have a ring team as well that I want to use. But we got a game versus a Beedrill user. Um, Where's our rank, by the way? I might as well show it. Gen 7 UU, 1181, 6-0. So, uh, Cobalion is actually amazing in this game. I'm going to lead off with it because it matches up very well versus Crocodile. Scizor has a potential lead and Beedrill. Uh, if he wants to lead off with... Swampert, I can SD into Fighting MZ and knock it out. Basically, rocks are really nice because rocks are the difference between 2 8 KOing Scizor with Specs Moonblast from my uh, Prima Marina. And the fact that Scarf Crocodile is really good in the late game by just clicking knock off is really nice. I just got done watching a video. Huge fan. Oh, thank you, man. Have fun. Uh, so he knows the team, unfortunately. So that's not very good. Uh, but we can definitely play around that, I think. Beedrill's going to be a little bit annoying, just a little bit annoying though, but he leads off with Scizor immediately. I'm not sure if he'd actually sewer power turn one. That'd be an, If he does sewer power turn one, I'd rather all out pummeling right here and just get off as much damage as possible. I don't know if it knocks it out. I haven't messed around with these calcs, but 70% is great. So yeah, he does 7% and I did 70. So I will definitely take this, especially because he's going to go Swampert here, which I know is uh, a rock Swampert. So we get up our rocks here. He's probably going to do the same. Yep. And what I can do is just proceed to uh, SD up on his Earthquake slash Scald. Hopefully Earthquake, not Scald Burn. Thank you. And uh, I know that if... I know that if I go for Close Combat here, I'll knock him out um, with two. But he'll knock me out Earthquake after that. So I'm thinking about SDing up again to ensure that I, I get the KO. We're just going to calc this real quick. You see, I did copy that team pretty quickly, but... I'm gonna calc this. You guys ever seen jam bag calc, by the way? It's so slow, it's beautiful. It's like an old man just like learning how to use his phone for the first time. Uh, Swampert defensive earthquake is 58 to 69. Oh, okay, so if I was out of range, I would definitely go for SD again uh, because then I'd be able to knock out Swampert in one hit, right? But that's all right. He's gonna be able to knock me out with earthquake there. Like I said, if I was above 69%, if I was like 70, I'd have been good. But uh, in any case, right on the Prima Marina we go and just click Moonblast. No switchings. I could also click Sparkling uh, Aria, but uh, which is cool for like sub combine channeler. Some people were questioning that. Why is that not there? But that's pretty much the reason why it's there. But I don't see a reason not to click Moonblast because it will be able to knock out Swamper, and which is an Entei switching by the way. Extreme speed is looking really good, especially with Scizor so low. Raikou comes out. Giant, giant threat. I don't want to go directly into my Crocodile. I'd rather have him HP Ice my Lottie. I guess he could be Combine as well. Combine, HPI slash Never Ending Nightmare more than likely coming out. Oh, no, 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 it's Leftover, so I'm thinking maybe not, because I can live this HPI relatively well. Yeah, and I'll be able to live the next HPI and weaken this guy for knockoff. So knockoff should be able to get the kill. Because, like I said, I'll be able to live his next hit, and I weaken him for knockoff. And I'm going for game with my Crocodile slash Extreme Speed. As you can tell, Extreme Speed is really good. It will pick off Beedro after Rocks. It picks off Scizor. It will 2 kill Crocodile. And after the side shock damage, it should do enough to uh, Raikou to knock it out. This is, of course, assuming my mental math is right and I live this next hitch, which I'm pretty sure I do. I'm actually debating Roosting. Uh, Ladias, custom sets. Plus one, plus one. Because if I roost and because of my Cobra Berry, I can live the, uh... Oh, that was nothing. Yeah, this is a roll that's severely in my favor, so I actually roost again. Because if he doesn't go Crooked Out, predicting my Psy Shock or Scizor, I do have the Cobra Berry. And getting rid of Crooked Out, which is his Intimidate Mon, uh, puts me in a great position. So I think that roost is just my best play, uh, especially because that's 31 to 37. So, yep. Nice. And, 
at plus two. He cannot KO me, so my best play right here is to Psy Shock, just in case he wants to calm mine. Or sub, because like I said, at plus two, he cannot KO me. And Psy Shock puts so much ring, like so much damage. This is so much damage to him. So, Roost up again right here. If he wants to calm mine up, I can do exactly the same and uh, basically knock him out. It is a roll to knock me out here. I'll just go for the 2 KO roll. Oh, never mind. He just crits me immediately, so I guess the roll did not matter at all. But I did put Entei in range of extreme speed, which is what I wanted. Or excuse me, Raikou in range of Entei's extreme speed. Thank you very much. It's alright. Things happen. But yeah, basically, I wouldn't have been 2 KO'd unless he had the 1.2% chance. And I would have been able to get rid of Raikou there. A little bit unfortunate. Uh, we can now go out to Crocodile, though. And just click Earthquake, which does allow Latias to come in. But I'm clicking Earthquake because I don't want his own Crocodile coming in clicking Earthquake, basically. And if he sacks Scissor, that's fine. I don't want to go for Knock- Actually, Knock Off is fine if he goes out to his own Crocodile. And never mind, Knock Off is fine. Knock Off is just a fine play. Because if he goes out to his own Crocodile, I knock off his uh, Scarf, potentially. And Scissor goes down, so I don't have to worry about that thing BPing me in the back. He's probably going to go out to his Crocodile and click Earthquake. Which is definitely fair. Um, Latias could be Z, which means I don't knock it out with knockoff. Could also be Scarf, I suppose. Scarf Psy Shock, maybe. If he goes Crocodile, I believe what I'm going to do is just hit him with a knockoff. Um, I want to get rid of his Choice Scarf. And because Extreme Speed does pick off Raikou, it does pick off Beedrill. And um, also, it will 2 Akio Crocodile after knockoff damage. I think it's my best play. I could be wrong, though. This is assuming, of course, Crocodile's knockoff does KO. You know I'm into the game when I'm calcing everything. Crocodile's knockoff does KO Mega Beedrill. 73 to 86, a really good roll. Not bad at all. Yeah, so let me take that Stealth Rock damage. If you want to go Lottie, that's fine. You could Draco. I will go uh, Tentacruel. I think it's the least expendable member, or the most expendable member of my team, rather. And then I can go out into Primarina and just click an attack. So this could be Z Draco. This could be Scarf. Uh, either way, taking damage is nice. Ice beams. Yeah, I don't, I don't, whatever. Uh, we'll just knock off then. As he's calm mine. So, knock off, and he is Cobra Berry, nice. So my knock off will do a decent chunk to him. I don't see a reason not to, yeah. I, my knock off should be able to KO him based on that knock off. Uh, let's see, Lottie. Maybe that isn't the play, actually. Latias. Uh, because it might come down to speed time now. Let's just assume no item. How much does knockoff do? 72. Alright, nice. He's at 70. So my knockoff is the play. I guess he could have some sort of defensive investment. I hope not. I really hope not. Because my knockoff is definitely the play right here. Nice. So no random defensive investment, Lottie. We uh, we also can knock off the Crocodile and pretty much ensuring, oh, and he's Moxie as well. Nice. So we knock off the Crocodile and that means, basically Moxie is cool because now, oh damn, he, he, he hit the exact same play. I mean, I still win at extreme speed, don't I? But I have to win a speed tie now. <sighs> That's not good. That's really not good. He made the correct play, which was, no, actually no, knockoff was not his play. Earthquake was his best play and it worked out for him. Ah. Uh, Basically, if I switch up the Primarina and he went for knockoff, I got my kill. Adam or Jolly, Adam or Jolly. Entei, how much do you do, buddy? I'm mad that worked out for him. Uh, he had to go for Earthquake there, in my opinion. I, I lived his Earthquake, and because he wasn't, like, Intimidate, what happened was I would switch out. Unless he went Pursuit. Pursuit would be a really good play. Unless he clicked Pursuit there. And then, because uh, after I knock him out, he can obviously click Pursuit. And then I'd be able to uh, click a stream speed with Entei, get off a little bit of chip, and then sweep with Earthquake. Assuming Entei doesn't actually knock this guy out with extreme speed, though. 57, 47 to 56. Marina custom set. This is a plus one Earthquake from Crook. Man, Crocodile. Damn, this does way too much. I, I need a crit extreme speed if I want to win this game. Like, I actually have to crit extreme speed. Or I can go off him being adamant, which is not the play. So I have to crit extreme speed right here. Yeah, good game. Alright, so that knockoff play actually ended up working out for him. I mean, if I win the speed tie after that, it didn't matter. 
But I, I can't believe I, I I I can't believe that play actually worked out when uh, when it was what was I gonna say? Like if he didn't <laughs> if he went for earthquake, I just won. But I guess maybe he either saw into that and just went for the speed tie after. Because my entire team was grounded. So if I went Primarina, I got a kill after that. Beedrill doesn't kill Primarina plus Crocodile. Basically, I can switch out. I play Earthquake. I guess maybe he could still Earthquake Sweep, potentially. I don't know. Anyway, it worked out, so what can I say? Uh, Tentacruel, Raikou is annoying. Cobalion gets up rocks very early. I also live every hit. I live every hit. We're gonna get up our rocks. He can Volt Switch. I live. Every, I, like I said, I live every hit. I'm getting my rocks right here. He does have Double Spinner. Potential Defogger. Kavala doesn't do anything in this game, man. Raikou's annoying. So we eat that up. Um, because I have Crooked out here, I'm actually gonna SD. Expecting him to want to switch out. As he does go Tentacruel. Nice. And I'm gonna hope that All Out Pummeling at plus two does knock out Tentacruel. I mean, it's a strong attack. Hopefully it's like a more offensive. I doubt it does, but I mean, it's gonna do a lot. It's gonna do a lot. It's plus two All Out Pummeling. Like, it doesn't matter if you resist. Yeah, that boy ate. But not that not that well. And he actually went for knockoff. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So I can go for Iron Head here. I don't know why he didn't rapid spin. But I can go for Iron Head here because there's actually zero reason to go for Iron Head. Well, if he's defensive scald, maybe. I'll just go for Iron Head anyway. I guess it hits Gliscor. Gliscor will be two it KO'd by close combat into Iron Head, but I don't want him. I don't want him going that and switching like and then I can go star me too, so. Ooh, this is some massive damage. I love how close combat knocked that boy out. So we'll sack this. Uh, I, I also love how I said Cobalion doesn't do anything, but it actually managed to... I took rocks, actually. It actually managed to... Um, it, it managed to get rid of the two spinners, so that's really cool. Uh, we're going to do a Crooked Owl, and we're just going to get rid of the Starmie. I don't want him spinning. And it would be great if he actually went Tentacle, because I can knock it out. But we're not going to let him spin. Cobra Berry does not survive at 24% anyway. I'm thinking he might be Specs or Z or... I don't know anything, but uh, we knock out Starmie there. Rocks are going to be up, unless it's Defog Lottie or Defog Scizor. Uh, Entei is going to have a field day with the double, the double Mons going down. Uh, hard Lottie, I suppose. We are Cobra Berry, after all. Uh, Knockoffs me and crits. A little bit annoying, but that's Pokemon. Um, I, I, I guess since my last opponent had Ice Beam, maybe he'll fear an Ice Beam as well. No. No, we do not. Okay, your knockoff does not do a lot. I hope you know that. <laughs> uh, so we'll calm mine up here, just in case he wants to stay in. If he goes scissor, I will switch. But I'm going to roost after, basically. Stop critting me, dude. <laughs> Actually, stop critting. Why is he sacking his answer to... I don't understand that. But you know what? We're going to drop a Draco. Yeah, this is spe this is essentially Specs Draco, and it was plus one, and he sacks his Gliss score, so now he's gonna let me click knock off a I like I don't understand. I, I don't understand that play. He even goes out to this, so I'm gonna click Draco again. I don't care if I lose a speed tie or this scarf. In fact, if he goes for his own Draco, which is the only thing that can knock me out, I get to knock off him. I get to rapid spin, I get to knock off, like I'm in a good position. And he doubled into Scizor. Well maybe he thought <laughs> I guess he thought twice about that play. Yeah, so now Scizor's in range of earthquake and potentially knock off. Never mind, it's leftovers. Alright, so we'll go right to Tentacruel. We'll keep a lot of us alive because this is uh, potentially SD Roost. I don't know. Uh, but if I wrap it, spin, I'm fine. Uh, he, he turns about... If he goes Tentacruel, knockoff does knock it out. Though it is a potential speed tie, I suppose. Raikou is the correct play as well. So very smart on my opponent's part. Uh... I don't want to make HP icing on Crocodile. I'd rather go Latios and let that get taken down. Especially because Scarf Crocodile, or Scarf Entity doesn't really exist, but Scarf Crocodile puts in work. And he goes for Signal Beam. Is that Specs damage? Man, that did nothing. That couldn't have been Specs on my... That has to be like some sort of weird AV set. Like, that couldn't have been Specs on Cobalion. It would have been like 80 million, I think, anyway. So because I'm feeling comfortable winning with Crocodile, I'll just go out to this thing and click Earthquake. Um... How much is scissor at? Maybe knockoff is better because I don't let him. Because the stream speed is looking pretty good. Yeah, I'll go knockoff. I do live any one hit. And I don't want him going scissor. Yeah, Latios randomly. So uh, we're able to knock out Lottie. It was a soul do variant. And now I click Earthquake and win the game with Crocodile. And if he goes out, yeah, I actually click Earthquake and win the game with Crocodile. So Scissor comes out. 
All I gotta do is go out to Tentacruel here. It doesn't matter if he's SD. I mean, I have Scald, I have Entei in the back. It just goes for BP. So we're actually gonna spin away these rocks. That way my Entei always comes in at full. Lives a plus six bullet punch and knocks him out Flare Blitz. Some of these nice little rocks over here. You can roost up all you want, buddy. You're playing with fire. You're literally playing... Well, you're playing with hot water. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. I mean, both burning. So, you know what? Yeah, there you go. Uh, so, I get a burnt scissor on top of knocking out Tentacruel with knockoff. And he just turns on out of that battle. All right, let's get another battle. Nice. Get some wins, man. I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna make this episode a little bit longer than usual. I mean, I, I feel like I say that a lot. But I want to get some points. Especially because I lost one super early, which is not what I wanted to do. Uh, I don't want to, um, I'm not trying to lose as many before we even start. Is Pidgeot banned? Did they finally ban that monster? Come on, he's broken. This guy's a very scary team. Wow, Volcanion is annoying. Raikou is annoying as a lead. I think that Crocodile deals with pretty much every lead outside. This Mon, Noivern, actually destroys me. Uh, if I can get up rocks and get rid of Entei, extreme speed 2 it KOs every mon on his team. Oh, uh, well, maybe with rocks up in Volcanion might be a little iffy. It should be close. We'll see. So he leads Noivern. I'm definitely gonna switch out on his Drake. Uh, he could Hurricane too. You think he'd Hurricane or Draco? Tentacle's my only play all the time. Then again. This is good for knockoff. You know what? I'm going for Marina. He could have Hurricane, but Hurricane also has a chance to miss. And Draco, like, yeah. This gives me so much momentum right now. Because uh, unless it's Assault Vest Metagross, which I'm looking, it might be Rocks. Uh, Moonblast 2 KOs every mon on his team. Outside of Volcanion, but Volcanion... Oh, and outside of Metagross and Volcanion, obviously. But, oh my... Look at that. Do you guys see that damage? Might as well click it again. What's up? I'm clicking it one more time. Like I said, Specs Moonblast, man. It's so good. It's so good. And I'm going to click it again because I live every hit and I should be faster. Unless he's Choice Ban. But Choice Ban, I believe I still live on like maybe 2%. Which is still enough to, for him not to spam Draco Meteor. I wish I knew if he was Scarf or not. Uh, did, did it say his ability or no? Yes. It didn't say anything. Didn't reveal anything. I didn't get frisked. Let's say he's it doesn't have frisk. He has infiltrated his ability. What is wrong with me? What the hell is wrong? With me? It does have frisk as an ability. Okay, good, 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 good. Less stupid. Oh, what if he's telepathy? That man is inside my head. Anyway, Moonblast is so much damage. I love it. And uh, I want to scout for the BP, so I'm actually going to go out to Tentacruel right here. Uh, because Tentacruel can go for knockoff, which does knock out Metagross at that range. And it also deals with Espeon coming in, as well as Volcanion. So he doubles down to Espeon, making some godlike play. We're going to go out into Crooked Dot. Mm. He almost brought in Espeon on a Specs Moon. Bro, hey, you know what? Best thing you can do is Hidden Power slash Signal Beam. So I'm going Crook. Dazzling Gleam, Specs, Crit, Life Orb, Crit. I don't know, but he crit me. Help me, please. I just, I just want some. I just need this luck on my side, please. Really good play though on his part. Not gonna lie, very good play though. Nice job, Alex the Killer. Wish you didn't crit me, but still nice job. Uh, so I'm very weak to crooked out now. I'm gonna have to try to do something with Kamai Lottie. Kamai Lottie is decent versus him. But Volcano is a threat. I'm a Stone Edge here because I don't want him going out into. He should sack uh, Metagross has to play, but if he goes Volcano, then I hit it with a Stone Edge. And if I manage to connect with an Adamant Choice Band Stone Edge, next time I come in, I click Sacred Fire. Like, there's still potential for me to win. I need Rocks up, though. And by the way, if, if he switches up moves right here and goes for Psychic, then I'm mad he got that crit. Like, if I go down regularly, great. But the only Espeon that knocks me out would be Specs. I'm pretty sure even e doesn't knock me out. Espeon. Dazzling Gloom barely knocks me out with Specs, too. Extra Belt does. I mean, he could have gotten that 100% roll. Yes. Yes, he went Volcanion. And no rock resist. I don't care if you go Crocodile, bro. He ain't got no real rock resist. Okay, it's like. Come on, bro! <laughs> I know maybe the risk wasn't worth it, 
But when I'm so far in the back, I have to do things like that. Like if he doubled into Crooked out of there, that damage was so crucial. Or knock off right here. Yeah, okay, I should go for T spike. Man, give me something to work with, game. I'm trying. I want to get up a T spike so badly, but if he goes SP on him, for real, game, give me something to work with. Give me something to work with, game, please. I just need damage. I just want to win. Like, straight up. He does make the Espeon play, yeah. So at least we get that thing with a knockoff. He was Choice Scarf, so Crocodile did not die. Probably would have switched out then. I probably should have switched out then. I'm going to go Lottie and drop a Draco. Uh, do I live a dozen? Do I live two glass and wings? Espeon. Violet, whatever. Lottie. All right, so I'm not going that. I'm gonna sack Primarina and then go into Lottie and click Calm Mind and see if I can do something with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna click Calm Mind here, see if we can do something, see if we can get some type of magic going. Because after Calm Mind boost, I can live. I, I live two hits from this monitor. Choice Scarf. Yeah, route to Metagross. So we get my Calm Mind boost, then I knock him out with uh, Psy Shock. Doesn't even BP me, nice. So we knock out Metagross, great. Latias is looking all good, and we can knock out Crocodile, and we also live every hit outside of Noivir. So there's there's potential, there's definitely potential. You do not knock me out. Specs Draco, maybe. What did it, why did I give my Lottie plus one speed? I, you know, I could use that right now. Noivir. Choice Specs Draco. 108%. I mean, I, I think I gotta go for the low, low, low roll. I gotta go for the low roll, and then I can live too. So I gotta go for the low roll. Oh, nice, he missed, but that's not what I wanted. I gotta go for that low roll. Yes, okay. So I 100% live the next one. Yep, fifth roll. For the most part, yes. That don't matter. All right, Lottie, let's go. Let's go, Lottie. I love you, baby. Cold Pursuit, my friend. Hey, get the hell out of here. All right, so we get Scarf Crooked out of there. <laughs> nice, Lottie, my best friend. I love you. Huh, Espeon? What the hell you think you're doing? Disrespecting Lottie like that. And I want a speed tie too. Alright, so he has the Draco here. Um, I'm gonna switch, then go back. Oh, nice. You know what? He doesn't even have my choice specs anymore. He's Black Sludge, so that's even better for me. Even better for me. I don't want to click Skull because I don't want him going Volcanion. Yeah, so we'll get rid of that. Nice. Uh, the Raikou, if it specs, literally wins, or Calm Mind, it wins, unfortunately. I don't think there was much I could do about that, though. The fact that Noivern has a Black Sludge makes it severely weaker. I think there's still potential for Lottie. Like, I'm fighting back, guys. I'm fighting back the best I can, but... I don't have a Switch in here. It's sub combine. Okay, we gotta go Lottie. We gotta roost off the first one, then combine up and beat him 1v1. So, we roost off the first hidden power. And I gotta combine up when he goes for. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. He decides to combine up. Like, he's gonna do 60 something, maybe? 66. Ah, oh, we don't live the next one! 30 something. Damn it, man. And he crits me on top of that. Man, I'm tired of these players. Lucky me. How many is that? Is that three losses? In the, and then I get a slacking user. That's three losses in UU. I can't even break. That's two losses. Is that two losses? Is that three? I swear I just lost three times. That's two. Okay, that's two losses. 
That's annoying though. I can already tell this road. This road is gonna be long and annoying. Uh, destroyed by Cobalion. Absolutely destroyed by Cobalion. That's an issue though if it is focus blast. We can go to Wrath Tentacle. If he goes for Earthquake here, that does not make any sense. Cobalion lives that. Uh, Tentacle also covers, I guess, the Arcanine switch that he can make. That's something I can see him doing. So uh, I'm expecting a focus blast though. I just need some luck, man. What's happening to me? So I switched out first. So either he's randomly slow or yeah, he stayed in to go for focus blast. SD'd up, turn one. Do I lose? Is that game? He SD'd up turn one. I think I lose, guys. Sorry about that. My, my video opened up on the side. Uh... I can't switch this one out. I gotta go for the burn. She actually SD'd up turn one. I mean, it works, obviously, but damn. Like, I can beat this, but I'm gonna have to knock off a crooked out and then NT extreme speed to beat it down. That's annoying. And then I have no pre marina switch ins anymore. Okay. Alright, there's still definitely potential for Kabalion, but. Damn, man. SD'd up turn one in front of a Kobalion. I mean, it worked, right? What can I say? Yeah, so at least Extreme Speed knocks him out after. But still, this giant monster in the back. That cost me two Pokemon. Three if he goes Forgers here. Uh, but then again, he's the type to just stay in SD. So, all right. So we get rid of the giant threat and the biggest, uh, the the only Mon that can actually outspeed my uh, Kobalion. I'm gonna go directly into Primarina here to take a Specs Moonblast and then fire off one of my own. I went for the wrong play. I don't care that he's two resist. I I don't. I actually don't. I'm clicking Specs Moonblast. I don't care. Fortress. I hope you're not Spadef, buddy. Ah, nice. It's not. Nice and 2 KO'd. Go ahead and get this Joy Force. So I don't even have to waste my all-out pummeling on this. I'm probably gonna have to use it on Arcanine. As he goes Clef, he's going out to Mon that can also Thunder Wave me, which is great. Hell yeah, I'll take this. The Mon that can beat Light? Oh no. You think he has Thunder Wave too? I shouldn't risk it, but I'm gonna click Moon. Last again. Oh, he's going Primarina. Nice. Nice. I need damage. This also gives me potential to get special attack drops. And I also live one Specs and Scarf, potentially, slash Timid. I don't know. I don't know if that's Scarf Primarina, but Extreme Speed is also looking pretty decent. That's looking Scarf as hell, dude. He's in Blaze range, though. I mean, Torrent range. That has to be Scarf. That has to be Scarf. Like, I don't think that's anything but Scarf, so... Get on my rocks. I'm gonna SD up. I guess get a Thunder Wave? I'm, I'm praying he doesn't, though. I have to SD up again. Uh, Primarina dies. Fortress dies. What, he's going for foul play? Give me another boost. <laughs> play rough. Alright, zero. We go for Iron Head here. Uh, we stall out the light screen and Reflect still has a couple more turns, although that's the problem. I think Primer in a Scarf. Slacking comes out. You do not knock me out with anything, buddy. There's no way plus four. <laughs> nice, nice. Give me another boost. Give me another boost. I'll take it. Get the hell out of here, Slacking. <laughs> Alright, it's a lot of wins in the late game anyway. Or extreme speed. There's no way you're not Scarf. He has to be Scarf, right? It was Scarf. I was 100% right, it was Scarf. Um, because he has Scarf, I'm going to click Sacred Fire here because he d I don't want Fortress coming in on the extreme speed. Yep. Just gonna click Sacred Fire here. Uh, knock out the Fortress, and then I believe that my Lottie can win? Question mark? Either way, he has one more turn of Reflect left after this, so I'll switch out into my Lottie, unless he has yeah. Yum. 
I'm just gonna, I was gonna say, let's get something like crunch, but I'm gonna side shock just in case that 13% is actually 13% and not 12% like Shadow likes to do. Uh, because I do not want Lottie coming, that did so much to reflect. Jesus Christ. Nice, so we 2 KO Arcanine, and uh... Then again, I forgot if side shock, I'm pretty sure reflect, I know it attacks from the special, but it attacks on your physical defense. So yeah, and anyway, we win the game by clicking extreme speed. Yeah. I won. I'm looking for another one. Fucking Aria. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Alright, so we got another game. Um, Venomoth is annoying. Especially with Sludge Bomb variant. Very much like uh, my... Michael Balion as a lead. Uh, just for rocks. Specific, like, specifically for rocks. This could be Mega, I suppose. But I want I need rocks up now. I think he thought the same. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Lottie here. I'm hoping he does an ice punch. But I'm gonna double out into my Primarina. I'm trying to get it in on that works, that works. We're gonna double out to Primarina because we are specs. Give me these points. It's funny because I had a rain offense team with probably just with spikes. I probably just would have won super easily, but yeah, we bring in my Primarina on that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and thaw. That's what I thought. That's why I thought, Primarina. You don't want to hear my mouth, bro. Not right now. <laughs> you see me threaten my Pokemon? That's how you get them to do the job. Thaw, bro. Thaw. So I'm actually a little bit scared here. I don't care if you go Chandelier. I have to go for all out pummeling. I don't care if you go Tentacruel. Like, I don't think Earthquake. Like, Earthquake and Sweep. But I don't think Earthquake knocked him out. So I don't care if he goes Chandelure. Oh, he goes Scizor. Even better. Something that I needed him to go. Because this is going to take 10 million. Yep. There you go, buddy. We can Iron Head. As he bullet punches, that's fine. We get rid of Scizor, and that's one of the mons that could have stopped my, uh, my Crocodile. Uh, and Knockoff is looking relatively good as well. Especially if he goes Tentacro, I am clicking SD. If he goes Chandelure, I can SD as well. That way it prevents him from getting a sub. If he goes Lottie, I don't know what he's killing me with. So I'm going to click Iron Head. Don't think Life Orb HP Fire knocks me out. Don't think I know Psyshock don't knock me out. You can combine up all you want, bro. As long as I get off damage on you, I knock you out with Knock Off. So I don't care. You could be Z, you could be Colber. Drops a Draco. I'm assuming it's Soul Dew then. Yep, Knock Off nabs me a kill right here. Z dies at that range. I actually hope he goes out into Swampert. Uh, but if he does sack this, then I click Earthquake. So, Knowing that, I'm kind of tempted to click Pursuit here, to be honest. Because then I can click Earthquake and win. But I'd rather, I'd rather 2 a KO Swampert. Like, Earthquake, yeah, that probably could have won me the game. But it also gives Venom off the opportunity to set up, which is something I'm scared of. Uh, very scared of. So we'll knock out Swamper here with the second knockoff. Giant monster, giant threat going. Tentacle can come out, I suppose, but that does give me Venomoth comes out. Z Savage spin out, maybe? Yep. Bug buzzes immediately. Smart. However, I think Entei wins, which is why I made I, I did this play. Because I know Crocodile won. I guess it could be Scarf Chandler. Oh god, that could be bad. Alright, we knock off Venom off at least. If you go Chandler, um, that has to be Soul Dulati then, right? If you go Chandler, I go out to Tentacruel, I click Knock Off. Always. I am faster than Chandler as well. I click Knock Off always, and that can Rapid Spin as well, but... That, that has to be Specs too. I refuse to believe that's anything but specs. Yep. Get rid of that choice specs. I'm gonna spam extreme speed to win. What's the best way to do? I have to win a speed tie, right? Damn. I think I gotta win a speed tie to win. Ugh, that's so annoying. Unless Tenor Cross 2 ako would I don't want to have to win a speed tie to win, but especially because I'm not good at winning speed ties to win. We'll try. 
I already know I'm about to get hit with this Draco. Nice. We won. We hit the speed tie. So we win the game. Let's go. Spec channel. I would have been Scarf on this team, I think. Anyway, hard Ente. Put Sacred Fire. Unless this thing is Scarf Tentacruel. I swear if you are Scarf Tentacruel. Ah, just a regular old Scald and Tentacruel. Flirbits does. Hey, so I haven't used Sacred Fire once. I want to use it. I have not used Sacred Fire once. And we got a burn, so his knockoff is weakened. Plus, I have a Cobra Berry, so I don't really care. Yep, so. Go Lottie. Sorry, not to skip turns, but it's pretty much over. So, we go Lottie, we Roost up, then we click Side Shock. Side Shock probably kills at that range, just based on Sacred Fire damage. But Roost is just my best play. I'm going to look for another game while we're doing this, too. We got some Blissey stuff. Anyway, Sasha could knock him out. His entire team is grounded, so that's good. And one Earthquake immunity, or resistance, rather. I, I just said his entire team are grounded, then I proceeded to say one Earthquake resistance. Um, but yeah, and my Earthquaker is pretty much faster than everything on his team. So we're going to lead off with Cobalion and get up our rocks. If he leads off with Haxorus, hell to the yeah. I, why am I saying it like that? But I'm clicking all out pummeling. I don't care if you have a Chandelure. I do not care. This is a giant, giant, giant threat to my team. It is on a Sash. All right, so Sash actually scares me. I'm going to click Rocks here. Because the fact that he's Focus Sash actually scares me. Because I feel like a lot more on his team might just be Focus Sash. Yeah, so Rocks were definitely my play. I'm, I'm fearing Focus Sash random stuff. So uh, he can 2 a KO me with Brick Break. I don't care. I really don't. I click Extreme Speed now. He has one immunity and Rocks are up. No Hazard Control. Unless it's Defog Beedrill. Please don't be Defog Beedrill. Please don't be defog Beedro. So we clear the stream speed, knock out the Haxorus. That was one thing that could take an earthquake. Beedro doesn't take it, Shandler doesn't take it, Zerkatry doesn't take it. Uh, I guess this mon takes it, but Calm Mind can win too. A rack when it comes out. Because he has a Blissey, I actually don't like Primarina too much in this matchup. So I'll take it just to take the incoming, well, what I was assuming to be uh, Liquidation as he goes for Scald and I'll just click Psychic because I don't want him randomly going out to Beedrill and actually be a defog Beedrill. I am not attracted to you. I am not attracted to you at all. Yeah. Wait. No. What the hell is this set? Why is it working? Don't be immobilized by love. You can do so much better than this, Iraq. Oh, please, Primarina. Primarina, please. You can do so much better. Please, buddy. You can actually do so much better than this. I believe in you, bro. There's so girl. There's someone else out there. It's not this Arachnid. I saw this Arachnid with a Galisopod. He has no standards. Jesus Christ. So I actually have to hit. <laughs> I actually have to hit this Stone Edge because the only model on my team that can actually knock it out. Draco wasn't knocking it out. Sasha wasn't. Thank God we connect. And that is his only Earthquake switching. So I'm going to click this Earthquake right now. Stone Edge is also really nice because like, it actually completely bodies this Chandelier and Beedrill. Blissey can come, I suppose, but that does give me a knockoff. In fact, the most spendable member on my team right now is currently Tentacruel. Unless the um, Zerker Tree comes in on a Balloon, it is definitely Tentacruel. Zerker should come in on a balloon means I have to prioritize breaking that balloon so I can click Earthquake. Blissey is a threat, but I can calm mind up and beat that. Chandler dies, and I don't care if it's Scarf, it does not kill me with Shadow Ball or Psychic. And we do connect, so nice. Extreme Speed can also do something now. Or I can also spam Sacred Fire, which is pretty cool. Blissey comes out. And as I said, my most expendable member is my Tentacruel. Uh, and I just get off a knockoff with this. Counter. No. We're gonna get rid of your idol. Heals Zerkatry. Hopefully it's on the balloon. No, it's not. It's Z Zerkatry. Ooh. I don't want to be Z Hypnosis on my uh, Cobalion, so yeah, I don't mind sacking this Mon at all to just click Earthquake after. Unless he's sub. Which is why I stay in right here. Thankfully, we're burning turns. So, like, let's say he goes for another Tail Glow or he actually is sub. 
we're good. And he actually opts to just go for Thunderbolt. So again, this is why you run Jolly Crocodile. You got to speed this Mon. Even though he gets his big boost, flick my nice Earthquake. Knock out this Zerker Tree. I think I 2 kill Blissey as well, but I'm not going to stand on Blissey. I'm going to go Hard Entei and just click Sacred Fire immediately. Hard Entei and Sacred Fire. Ah, Crocodile. Crocodile liking this food today. So I don't want to be countered. Hard Entei. Actually, I click Flare Blitz. Screw it. Don't want to miss Sacred Fire. Stop, stop jumping on my Pokemon, you damn egg. Okay. Choice Band, Flare Blitz, guess the KO. Oh my god. It was Rocky Helmet. My Entei is gone. I'm so sorry, my child. Let me just go cook it out. And after the Stealth Rock damage, Mega Beedrill does not live in Earthquake. Assuming it's Mega, of course. Can I just make it a 1200 this episode? That's all I want. That is all I want. <laughs> the lower ladder is so dangerous, man. 1204, 9 and 2. That's not enough. I won, what, what is that, two games? Three games since we started? Three games and I lost two. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try and get one more. And we get this guy again. <sighs> okay. Mega Perk. Mega Perk's so annoying. Uh, I just wanna lead off a Primarina, especially because he let off a Swamper last time. I don't see a reason not to. That's because my spinner does beat his team, so we'll just click Moonblast here. If he goes Tentacruel, that's fine. It's going to take a ton anyway, or a decent amount. This is like the only switch into this Mon in the tier, I feel. Uh, he can spam Scald or get up T-Spike. I don't want him going back out into Tentacruel. Um, I don't want him going back out into Swamper, predicting my Tentacruel. So I'm actually just going to keep clicking Moonblast repeatedly. Yep. As he makes the double out to Venomoth, which is a pretty no drawback double since it does... Oh, never mind. It's not a drawback. It's a drawback double as hell. Hell yeah. Go ahead and hit your sleep powder. I don't care. I don't mind. Primarina being asleep. That boy has burnt a turn. Right on into Entei we go. Because if he quiver dances, I'm in trouble. Yep. I went right into this instead of going Crooked Out because Crooked Out wasn't worth the risk. Entei did, even though Tinted Lens doesn't help, uh, Entei did resist. I really want to go for Stone Edge so badly right here, guys. I think I'm going to do it. Ah, regret. Regret. Okay, I live, but still, regret, man. Yeah, huge regret because I missed. Damn it. I thought that the extreme speed was so obvious, but maybe I shouldn't be predicting. Uh, I really thought that extreme speed was so obvious that you would actually go Chandler because that would be a good opportunity to get in considering its specs, but I got to hook it out now. Click Earthquake. Man. He even sacks Venomoth too, and my Primarina is asleep, so he can bring out Swamper now and actually threaten something uh, pretty well. But we're gonna go out to Primarina here and see if we can get off any type of damage. I think I can win the game with, uh, again, Crooked Out the same way. As he goes right for Rain Dance. Alright, so you gotta wake up, my friend. He's Rain Dance Stealth Rock. Wait, he can't touch. He can't touch Lottie. So we get off the Intimidate. Yeah, he can't touch Lottie at all. He's not Ice Punch. We get off the Intimidate, and we go out to Lottie here. Like, Lottie don't care. Yum. I'm just gonna Draco, man. I don't wanna give him a Stealth Rock. I don't care if he goes uh, Scizor. It's his only switch into this Mon. Which is why I should care, right? But I guess Pursuit would be annoying. Don't have it. And he has Pursuit, but Cobra Berry does come through. Okay, good. That's why I need to hear. That's why I like to hear, I mean. Scalds. All my plays. Oh, man. I'm messing up. I am messing up. If I knock him off, then my own knockoff from Cobalion doesn't kill. So... I don't want him Z Drake. Uh, he can't Z Draco. It was Soul Dew variant. He could just drop a Draco, to be honest. I got a Crocodile, though. He does go Scizor. So this does give him a U turn. And Lottie being so weak, and this is actually bad. So I have to go Kobali on here. And if he goes Swamper, he sets up the rain, I think wins. Damn it, man. Ah, I'm getting another one after this, too. 
I should just extreme speed the Venom up. I saw how this guy played last time, and... This is my bad. Like, I, at least he lets me weaken Swampert, but... 56% zero. Alright, he lets me weaken Swampert, which is nice. I go Lottie. I roost here. I mean, Lottie still has potential, I guess. Maybe? Some type of potential? I don't know. Depends on how much I can get off on Scissor. It also depends on if I get the Pursuit play right. Ops to go for that. So I guess if he flinches me once, that's bad, but... I'm not sure why you went for that. Especially because he gave me two roosts. Wait! He changed it from Stealth Rock? So he just lost Stealth Rock on his team? Oh my god, okay. I got blown back. Alright, uh, he changed it from Stealth... Last time it was Stealth Rock. Waterfall Earthquake. Man! I'm just lo I'm just on a losing streak today. It's funny, because I already know the lower ladder is way more dangerous than the higher ladder. <laughs> that man got me, though. That's smart, though. You should be changing things up. Very smart. I can respect that. Kvalion matches up well uh, versus something like this as a lead. He does lead off with Suicune, uh, which Kalmai and Lottie does beep. I'll go Tentacruel first because Toxic Spikes are really nice versus this guy. Even though he does have Serena to wrap and spin them away. Uh, I don't care if you go for that combine immediately. It's not a problem. I'll just knock you off. My Suicune beats you 1v1 anyway. Uh, also, or excuse me, my, uh, my Lottie beats you 1v1, and there's potential that I can uh, Scald burn you, so why don't you get up a little T-Spike first? Just to pressure Serena, Absol, and whatnot. Hard Volcanion, very good play. Uh, pretty much the only Mon that I, I I do beat, but I don't beat at the same time. Like I don't have an option to beat him. So we'll get up a knockoff here. At least get rid of a potential choice specs, that's good. And Lottie's really good right now because, again, it does beat this, but I want to be careful... I do want two layers up a T-Spike though, just for Serena to take that. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Um, I just click Knock Off here, and then I go Lottie. Then I go Lottie, and I think I actually double into Entei, predicting him to go Serena. So we go Lottie here, and I if he Steam Eruptions, that makes zero sense though. He should go Serena or Sylveon, and both of which uh, and I have a good matchup versus. NT has a good matchup versus. So if you see eruptions, that actually makes zero sense. Ah, we sludge wave Lotties now. You know what? Just get, just get out of my sight. Just get, just get out of my sight. He did have Mega Absol, which could obviously Mega Evolve and take me on, but that didn't make any sense, man. He's gonna spin here too. I'm gonna find out if he scarf. Oh wait, you know I can't get any damage off. That's fine. That's fine. Who needs damage? What's damage? I don't need damage. Do you need damage? Oh, nice. And a 2 a KO too? Good to know. <laughs> Could a 2 a KO to At least we put on a timer with the Toxic, but we don't have Sylveon switchings. Lucario comes out. I mean, I have two answers to this thing. Though if it is Nasty Plot, it's more of a threat. Actually, if it's Nasty Plot, then Primarine is the play. Uh, if it's SD, then... Yeah, it is Nasty Blast. So Primarina takes one hit and knocks it out with Moon Blast, which is great. Unless it's Z. Oh, okay. I guess I don't live that. Uh, pretty sure Cobalion lives one plus two. Cario. Damn, it doesn't. I don't beat this thing either. I gotta calm mind up, though. I don't have a choice. Like, I can't beat him with one side shot. Dark Pulse, Aura Spear, Flash Cannon. All right, so we we live the next hit. So I'll just side, I side, I'll side shock here and knock out Luke. Yeah. So um, that's a giant threat to the team. <laughs> uh, Latias is still around, which means that I can still beat Weavile. Absol, I have to pray it's not Pursuit. We're just gonna go hard Cobalion. Hard Cobalion on the knockoff. Go ahead and give me a boost, bro. Go ahead and give me a little boost. Show me your close combat switchings. Super Power don't knock me out. Suicune, my friend. I love Suicune so much, but it's not taking plus one into Z plus one. Let's get this monster out of my sight. 
You could double into Serena, I suppose. But I don't... I, I, I don't care. Like, I, I'm not... Like, we already saw what happened when I tried to predict things. So, we gave her to Suicune. Um, biggest start, though, is still Sylveon. Absol comes out. Probably gonna go for Superpower. I don't think Latias actually matters as much now. As he has player rough. Okay, so that doesn't even knock out my Cobalion, even at minus one. That's good to know. We go right back out into Cobalion. We click that close combat. Cobalion gets a kill. Oh, come over! No! No, you don't superpower. He did predict my Latias. That was a good play. But you don't superpower crit me. No way that, that had to matter. I'm a Cobalion. This is 72 to 85. I was at 84.8, which is 85. I guess if you got that roll. No, screw it. I'm not even giving him that roll. Come on, bro. Are you serious right now? That's so lame. Oh, he chokes, though. By going hard, Sylveon. Good. Go ahead and choke. No, he keeps his Dazzling Mon alive. Smart. Oh, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Like, it depends on what play he makes here. No, it doesn't. He, he wins. Come on, dude. Why does the game try everything to take away wins from me? What language did I just speak? I have to keep this mile. He didn't even go Absol. Why didn't he go Absol? Oh, he choked. Hell yeah. Go ahead and choke. I like this. Go ahead and choke. Sacred Fire. Alright, Absol. Uh, Crocodile. Choice Scarf. Earthquake does 84 to 100%. How much does Sewer Power do? Doesn't matter. Extreme Speed wins me the game from Entei if he goes for Sewer Power here. So I go, I go out into Entei. Extreme Speed does win me the game if he goes for Sewer Power. Yep. Entei is 100% my play. We sack this. Go for Sewer Power, buddy. Yeah, that'll knock me out, buddy. You had to go for Sewer Power there. Even if you try to hold me back with that defense drop. Our tag drop, that don't matter. Shout out to the game. Trying to hold me back, but we came through. Jesus, man. This... He even crit me with knockoff on top of that, which definitely didn't knock me out. Whatever. Shout out to higher priority on the E speed. Let's go. GG. He gave me that point. God fighting for 1200s yeah good game man fighting for 1200s there so he actually um the reason i was actually you know got a little bit heated which i do tend to do in the road to top 10 is one lower ladder pisses me off <laughs> it's not even like i'm saying my opponents are poor in the lower ladder it's just that I, you never know what to expect i got three losses in this episode guys three losses in this episode that's insane but like the last guy, though, changing up Swamper was very smart on his part. Really good uh, play. Because he realized Lottie was a threat. Because uh, Lottie beat him. So very smart on my guy's part. But like here, he had the end game one if he uh, if he went Absol first. Why well, clicked Earthquake? Or Serena first. U turn. Why well, clicked Earthquake? Okay, what was the what was the way I was thinking? Basically, because of Queenly Majesty, uh, Serena's ability, I couldn't spam Extreme Speed to win if he went Absol first. Like, all you have to do is go Absol, Sewer Power on my Crocodile, which killed Entei or Crocodile, basically. Absol was always at full. Uh, it killed Crocodile at full, unless I Earthquake crit him, uh, which doesn't, which does kill, but, like, you see how much Earthquake does? 84 to 100, so if I crit him, great, but uh, if he did that, in theory, most of the time he won by knocking out Crocodile with Sewer Power, Entei comes out. All he has to do is switch out into Serena uh, because Serena's ability does block Extreme Speed and sack Serena because I'm forced to go for Sacred Fire. Although I could go for Extreme Speed praying that he doesn't have the right ability. That's definitely something I could do. But he still won the game either way on that part. So that's why I was a little bit like, oh god. But then he chokes it away by going Sylveon and then going Serena. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so 
Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of salt right here in the 1200s. I'm definitely using a different team next time. Not that this team is bad. It's definitely not bad at all. But uh, I'll be using a different team next time. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.